Well, good morning, Homestead family. Today's video, we're going to be putting in some overhead sprinkling system for this uh, raised bed garden. We'll be right back after the break. I can't wait to share it with you. <music> Well, welcome back, friends. Last year we installed our, um, our raised bed garden here. We put in six raised beds, uh, f four of them are four feet wide by 55 feet long, one six foot wide, 55 feet long, and one uh, eight feet wide, 50 feet long. It's really a, a really nice addition to our garden complex, and we thoroughly enjoyed growing various vegetables in our raised bed. How, um, however, at the time, by the, when I put in the, uh, the beds and got them going, we wanted to go ahead and start using them. So I, I asked Nancy, I said, hey, you think we should just go ahead and start using the beds and we can just hand water with the wands and we'll just use, you know, two or three of them until we can get going, you know, until I can have time and, um, and money <laughs> to get the uh, irrigation system put in. And she goes, oh, sure. <laughs> so we started um, growing just some great stuff out here. And um, what it required was for us to come out here and hand water with this wand, which is very time consuming. And with so many chores that I have to do around here, as well as Nancy, we just don't simply have the time to stand here and do that it, when you have so many of them to do and so nancy said this year you're putting in that irrigation system and we're going to find a way to do it <laughs> i said okay so today i um i got the uh, the old the old sketch pad out and i i drew up a little diagram of the um of the of the uh raised bed garden here and uh, we're going to do a layout and install some simple irrigation uh, just so I can be able to open one valve and water one or as many as I want, one up to as many as six, six beds at a time. If I'm only growing like one or two beds, I can shut off some of the other valves. So I'm only using what I need. So anyway, let's step up into the shop, get out of the sun and get out my little sketch pad and let me show you what the plan, game plan is for um, this uh, raised bed garden. Let's go inside. Okay. Here's our little sketch that I drew up. And uh, the first thing I did was I drew up the, uh, the six beds so that I can arrange the heads to make sure that I have 100% irrigation coverage, you know, when I activate the system. These sprinkler heads throw a 15 foot radius. So when I, once I had the layout of the, of the beds arranged, it was real simple just to say, Hey, I know this one's going to get that. This one will cover this much. This one will cover its 30 foot radi uh, diameter. And this one will cover a, a 15 foot radius or a 30 foot diameter. So really what I'm looking at, and I also have one here in the middle to get in the, any that I missed. So I have five heads that will cover the entire complex all at one time. Now, a couple years we came out here and um, I installed the irrigation mains for the entire um, garden complex. And at that time I installed a three valve manifold on the, this edge over here. And there's three valves were put in to serve three different areas. The first area is a valve that's reserved to serve a future orchard that's going in. The second valve was already active active, it's serving the um, tomato garden, and the third valve was the valve that was reserved to serve this raised bed garden. So I already have my water source in place. I have a pipe that came up out of the ground that I just left it there, and um, that's the pipe so I could find it, and that's the pipe that I will be tying into to give my water source to serve this little area. So once I knew what the garden beds looked like and how many heads I actually need, then I just simply draw out 
the straightest, most direct route as possible of the pipe. And then me and Nancy go out and we just measure each one of these branch lines so we can have an accurate total of how much pipe that we actually need, you know, to install this system. And in so doing, I can, uh, at that point, I can figure out how many valves I need, how many little fittings, how much pipe, and any detail that I need to work out. So at this point, we're ready to um, total up our list of material, and um, we can order our material and get the material in. Now, these pipes come up to these uh, nozzles here, every one of these sprinkler heads, and I installed a stanchion there, uh, no, a fence post, and I want my um, my impact sprinkler head to be about four and a half feet above the ground level. So that's why I put in these fence posts. So when I come over here, I can come up and add a valve up at this point right here above the ground, and I can isolate and segregate whatever I need to when I'm watering. Let's say, for example, I'm only using these three beds in the wintertime and these three beds are not in use. At that point, I can just turn on this valve. I'd say maybe, you know, this valve and this valve, and I can shut these valves and I could cover this 100% with just two valves. So I'm not watering the entire complex just to do two or three beds. So I can use any combination of these sprinkler heads simply by shutting this ball valve right here because every one of these risers to the sprinkler heads has a ball valve in there. So we can uh, isolate. We can, uh, we can run the entire thing at one time, all five heads, or we can run one or any combination thereof. So there's the uh, idea behind the little system that we're gonna put in for the garden, uh, the raised bed garden. So at this point, we're ready to uh, buy the material and uh, get, rent the ditch witch and uh, get, these, get these lines installed and get this thing up and running because we have a lot of big plans for the uh, raised bed this year and I sure don't wanna go out there and hand water everything. So let's get started.
<laughs> get a good job, Hanson. It really, the, the older we get, the harder that gets. And mm -hmm. That really wasn't much of a, uh, it was just a branch line off of this manifold here, but we're just getting kind of old and it's really, <laughs> we're really feeling it. Mm -hmm. But anyway, thanks for help. I mean, my back's been really bad and my Aww. legs and my knees, but you know. We'll work it. I guess that's part of homesteading when you get old. Yep. When I can't get off the ground, you help me. When you can't <laughs> get up, I'll help you, right? Yep, definitely. Well, okay, we got the um, all that system in on this branch line. Uh, here's the root valve that uh, we open this root valve and it charges all five heads and it will water the entire um, raised bed garden all at one time and I can turn on or off any combination of the five valves out there to water what I want to water when I want to water. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the setup. Let's turn the valve. You want to do the honors? Okay. All you right. turn it. Wow, handsome. <laughs> it did it. Yep. That's no more hand watering for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it takes a, quite a bit of time to to hand water those six beds, but yep. it looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. You did a good job. That should make uh, uh, water into this year much quicker. Definitely. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. So, oh, our pleasure. My anyway, pleasure. <laughs> I hope y'all uh, had fun watching the video with us. It's just a little something that we added to our homestead this year. Mm -hmm. I still have a remaining valve here on this manifold, which is Nancy's. Um, it's a it's a future uh, connection for Nancy's uh, additional piece of orchard. She mm -hmm. wants nine more orchard trees out here, yep. so that one will serve those. So let's do that next year when the hopefully the the prices of stuff comes down a little bit. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> but anyway, we hope you had fun. We thank you for watching. We love every one of y'all. And um, we hope that our video brought a little smile to your face and a little joy to your heart on this day. So until me and Nancy and Bing Bing, see you next time. Always remember, by his hands, hands we are fed. fed. Give, Give us, Lord, our, our daily, daily bread. bread. Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day.